Hello! This video is going to be about polynomial long division, meaning how do we compute the ratio of two polynomials divided by each other. Now, before I begin, I'll show you a general result that, for instance, if I have 7 divided by 3, 3 can go into 7, 3, 6, so twice, but what's the remainder? Three, six, the remainder is one, so we gotta add a one over three. Here's another example. Let's do ten divided by uh, instead of three. Let's use a different number. Let's use a let's use a four. Four come four four can go into ten. Four a that's two. But there's a remainder of two, so it's two fourths, right? And so that just means a half. So recall that once you're done dividing something, a number into the numerator, the denominator into the numerator, that if there's a remainder, you have to divide that by the pre-existing value. The same thing happens for polynomials. Consider the polynomial x cubed minus 2x squared plus x minus 1. And let's divide that by x squared minus 3. How are we going to divide these two polynomials? Well, the way we've been taught is to set it up like this. Put the x squared minus 3 outside of this mathematical device. Put the numerator up top and begin the algorithm. Here's the algorithm. Step one. Get this leading value, x cubed, divide it by the leading value here, x squared, compute their ratio, that's x. We get that value, put it on top of the house, x here. Then, here's step two. Get that value, x, and multiply it by what's out here. Then I get x cubed minus 3x, all right? Then, this comes down here, x cubed minus 3x, and we put a subtraction bar, okay? The subtraction bar can be to converted, which I like to do, into an addition bar by distributing a negative to these terms. So once I distribute a negative to these terms, subtraction bar becomes an addition bar. Now we group like terms. These add up to zero, so they go away. Uh, there's no x squared terms, so this comes down. And the 3 plus the 1 gives me 4x minus a 1, now we begin the algorithm again. Another step one. Get the leading term, divided by the leading term here, compute their ratio, which is negative 2. We get this negative 2, bring it here, so I add a negative 2 plus a negative 2. Then, step two, get that negative 2 and multiply it by what's out here, which gives me negative 2x squared plus 6. So I bring that here, negative 2x squared plus 6, create my subtraction bar, distribute a negative to make it an addition bar, and I place this right here. Then group like terms, these two cancel to give me 0. Then the 4x comes down, 4x, then the minus 6 and the minus 7 give me, uh, the minus 6 and the minus 1 give me a minus 7 here. And we, again, take this leading term, 4x, divided by the leading term here, x squared, compute their ratio, which I get 4 over x. At this point, whenever you get something that doesn't, doesn't divide evenly through, whenever you get a fraction like 4 over x, this is where we terminate the algorithm. So at this point, we terminate the algorithm. And at this point, this information is no longer mathematically useful. It just tells us that now you stop the algorithm, it doesn't divide it evenly. What now is useful is this piece. This piece that is here is called the remainder. Just like how the remainder here was 1. And just like how the remainder here was 2, was then reduced to 1 eventually. That is the remainder of the polynomial division. 
and these were the remainders of the number division. So this is actually now equal to what's up here, this x minus 2 plus the remainder, this 4x minus 7, all divided by x squared minus 3. And this is a simple example of how to do polynomial division.